Hello guys, not the way he's here. And this is gonna be the Amiibo two year anniversary retrospective. Yes, November the twenty first, twenty fourteen was Amiibo's debut. It was in conjunction with Super Smash Brothers for the Wii U and then later on an update for the three D S when the new three D S came in. So before I even talk about it my basically I guess an annual thing now because it's the second time I'm talking about this retrospective is I want to basically clarify something about the Switch V-Blog. In my update, <coughs> excuse me, I was going to say that there was not any more new Switch news that I'm probably not going to be talking about it. But of course, surprise, surprise, even after the teaser revelation, there was more to talk about. There was more questions, more rumors. And I had a backtrack in that one, so I did put a 180 there. I do apologize for that. And sadly, there will be more because there's a lot of topics that keep popping in that I want to give my thoughts about. And I already kind of did some of them there. You can see them on my secondary channel. So, yeah, so one of the updates there, I did make a mistake. And I thought they were done. I didn't want to say anything about it, but they, because what happened was and during the financial report, they actually said something more. Not so much, but they did say some a little bit more. And then some Nintendo representative basically said something. And then more rumors coming in. So I just want to give my thoughts about it. Yeah. So with that, the second anniversary of Amiibo. Not just for Wave 1, for Smash Brothers, but they changed. So was it again getting harder, getting easier to get Amiibo. So just like. October, November 2015, it's no different in 2016. So in 2015, some of the Unicorn or Rare Amiibo finally came. Villager, Mart, Dark Pit, Little Mac, Captain Falcon. And finally, they made some restock. People were able to get them. Ike, like that. And then, of course, no, no different in 2016, finally Palatina, which wasn't really hard to get in Amazon, but if you don't have Amazon or it's too expensive and you want to pay shipping and handling, I can understand that. So finally, Toys R Us has them. <coughs> Excuse me. And then, of course, Lucina at Best Buy, and they have a lot of Lucinas. Robin at GameStop, yes, it's been now confirmed that it is a GameStop restock exclusive Robin. So... So if you miss Robin, you miss Lucina, there you go. And go Mario, you can find him anywhere. Chances are you either go to Best Buy, Toys R Us, and games are probably have a better chance. I have not heard of a restock at Target or Walmart. Don't know why. So now it's finally getting much easier than before. And they're basically restocking some older ones that were already popular, such as Samus. Samus has been popular. And like I said before, in my availability of Amiibo, she was one of them that really lasts long. That if you never got her when she first came, she lasted like four or five months, then you're kind of out of luck. You say, well, I want to sell. Well, Smash Butter figure tend not to sell. I know, granted, Ryu, but they made a lot of Ryu and Lucas because by the end, and starting with 2016, they were pumping out more, pumping out more. Because one of the biggest complaints was in the beginning was it was so hard because it's Nintendo. And I said it before with the NES mini rant. Is that Nintendo strategy was be pessimistic, be cautious, be, I guess some, some people even said, be paranoid and see how it goes. Once they get their data, there you go. And some people say, why not do it with pre-order? It makes more sense. Uh, yeah, it's a possibility, but I guess in Nintendo size, probably doesn't work, because what if someone cancels the pre-order? That's a possibility, because, you know, uh, an example of the top of my head that, that happened was Resident Evil 4 for the GameCube. It was originally a GameCube exclusive, then Capcom made an announcement. Oh yeah, we're gonna bring it also to the PS2. Granted, it's a time exclusive, but the Game the GameCube owners they cannot refuse to accept that because 
Oh, so what's the reason to get GameCube? Oh, you don't. So they don't have like a sort of exclusive that your sole reason to get a GameCube was Resident Evil 4. Yeah, I mean, granted Nintendo games, but what about an exclusive third party? Well, there you go. So, that's a possibility because there were pre-orders, there were canceled pre-orders, and people were actually buying GameCubes so they can play Resident Evil 4 after they heard, oh, it's also the PS2, it may be crappy graphics, but at least you get new content, you get new contents, and they say, oh, heck no, so there you go. Ah, uh, just putting it out there, you know, just putting it out there. And so with that Amiibo, really nothing much to say. I think it's getting better now. And of course, there's Smash the Super Mario Brothers Amiibo, so if you want to use them for Smash, of course they're compatible. But if you want the Smash version, like I said, what they're restocking are the ones that were hard to get in the past. So basically, the roles revert. If you want Mario... You're out of luck. Bowser, you're out of luck. Princess Peach, you're out of luck. Heck, even Rosalina. But then, of course, there's uh, Super Super Mario Brothers Rosalina. Why not just get that one? But if it's that, like I said, if it is for collector's reason, then you're kind of out of luck. That's really not going to work because, well, they're trying to sell the Mario Brothers line, you know. Same goes with Kirby. You're not going to see any Kirby line until the Kirby line basically... Stop selling right now. There's still manufacturing I think they're on sale because, well, I don't know, maybe people get tired. So, again, it is now getting better and better. And you say, Well, the only reason I think that it was hard because it was the Smash Brother line uh, again, granted, because that's one of the most popular one. Then, second came the Super Mario Brothers, and then, yeah, I mean. I can tell you that, Wolf, well, granted, Wolf, Wolf Link can only be acquired if you buy the game. You can buy it by itself. So, yeah, I mean, at one point, the game did go to 25 bucks. Uh, yeah, so, yeah, I mean, now, and like I said, the most popular one Smash Brothers. And, of course, you're wondering, oh, are they going to continue this? And the answer is, yeah, I think I talked about it before. I'll talk about it here. There have been rumors. Now, the reason why you don't see Corrin, Cloud, and Bayonetta, they're delaying them until when Super Smash Bros. for the Nintendo Switch comes out. Will it come out? Kind of makes sense. An enhanced version. You know, maybe Ice Climber. Maybe they'll add some new characters. And they'll have Amiibo. And maybe they'll have restock of the other ones you kind of missed. Maybe this time, Mario, Luigi, Donkey Kong, Rosalina, you name it. The one that you couldn't get in 2016 because they have other version lines. Here we go. So, yeah, it wasn't really long, but again, you know, it was easy to get. Even the Pokemon one are not easy to get. Celebrate Pokemon 20, they brought back the Pokemon. Fire Emblem, finally, at least it was this year, in conjunction of Fire Emblem, of course, uh, Conquest, Birthright and Conquest, Fates, ah, Fire Emblem Fates, so, I mean, it wasn't, they didn't do a restock during the game came out, but at least they finally did a restock when it was in restock year, so, or months, so, yeah. So, yeah, there's really nothing much to say about it. Um, not so much, not like last year, because it's getting better. Some of the rare ones, like I said, the biggest rare one was Gold Mario, Lucina and Robin. They're finally out, easy to get. There you go. So, with that, that's it for now. I'll see you guys later. Bye.